Aza Akawashvili, founder of the Omega Group in Iberia TV, and now a member of the Ajarian Supreme Council, has given testimony in court on the matter of a special forces raid on all constituents of the Omega Group and forceful stripping of the broadcasting license from Iberia TV. This decision originated from the top of the governmental hierarchy, namely from the president himself. Is this simply what you think, or have you had contact with someone who confirmed it? I did indeed have contact with Mr. Murabishvili, who confirmed that the offers made to me originated from the government. Despite the court having ample time for this particular hearing, and Mr. Wakawashvili being ready to answer questions, the defendant's lawyer requested that the process be postponed until April 24th. Mr. Okawashvili answered the journalist's questions. Upon exiting the court hall, a TV station employing 500 journalists was frozen. A company that had contributed a billion and a half to the state budget was frozen, and you are telling me that Saakashvili didn't know about that? And are we now protecting Adaishvili now? The law must reign supreme. Everyone must know, regardless of the post he occupies, everyone will be held accountable for their crimes. Both the defendant and the plaintiff fiercely insisted on their respective truths. Adeshvili's lawyer, for example, thinks that the accusations against his charge are based solely on witness testimony. Mr. Adeshvili is being politically persecuted via the courts, and this persecution has nothing in common with justice. The plaintiff's side has not presented a single direct piece of incriminating evidence against my charge. The prosecution is relying solely on the testimony of witnesses whose claims amount to nothing but speculation. He talked about how he was contacted by his representative, Levan Agdomalashvili, who had been summoned to the Prosecutor General's office by Zyura Badashvili's bidding, where he met with Georgi Latsabidze and an investigator. Mr. Wakawashvili also confirmed that Mr. Latsabidze voiced a strict demand towards Mr. Agdomalashvili, towards Iberia TV, that if he wanted the company to be reconstructed and resume its functions, the company's broadcasting license had to be unconditionally given away. May I know who gave you the orders? And if they order you to shoot me, will you do it? The case, in which the highest ranking representatives of the previous government stand accused, emerged on February 19, 2004. A decree issued by a judge ordered a special forces unit to raid the companies comprising the Omega Group. Iberia TV was not mentioned anywhere in the document, but no one in the former government intervened to stop the raid. The broadcasting company was the first to be raided. Broadcasting was stopped and employees prevented from re-entering the building. Special forces also raided the Vashi Javari HQ and regional offices of the Omega Group, as well as those of Omega Motors and the New Age newspaper. What are you looking for and what have you found? What have you discovered inside the TV station? They will have to apologize to business and the legitimate media. Why are these masked goons invading us? Why are they wrecking our people? All this was created by us, by our hands. I am not fleeing anywhere. I am not running away from my factory, my printing house, my TV station, my people, or Georgia. And those who have a reason to flee will drive them all out. They will not have the time to do it. The Special Forces Unit treated employees of the Omega Group HQ in Vashli Javari very roughly. Tobacco products worth millions of lari were removed from the factory. Expensive machines and other technology were turned into wreckage. Let them scare those who are afraid of them. I have nothing to be afraid of. I am coming here with nothing. The TV company will tell the truth. It will divulge what is true, and so will I. Nobody here is afraid of anything. Do you think we're afraid of these masks? We will tear them off. The Special Forces operatives have opened fire on the crowd that tried to take the seized newspaper editions from the printing house. One of the bullets hit a gas pipe. It was only by accident and luck that the Omega employees avoided the explosion. I'm calling on all businessmen. Do not think that you are going to stop these people by giving them money. They will ride all over you. Stand instead by our side before they raid your homes. They will even take your families from you. I am calling on everyone, because one cannot just stand and calmly watch this. If they have the right to put on these masks and invade anywhere, that's what's guaranteed that they will invade your homes too. How do you know what they are going to want from you tomorrow? Are you going to satisfy their every whim? We are people. We are Georgians. We have our attitudes. Someone must have thought that I'd become afraid. A man in the right is not afraid of anything.
Support for the Omega Group was expressed by representatives of various fields. Protests were held in front of the government chancellery, the Vera Garden, and the Philharmonic Theater. However, protesting did not stop the former government's criminal activities. A people sitting behind these walls so deaf that they cannot and do not want to hear the people's voice. How can I, a sick man, sit at home when they are in such peril? How can I not come here and stand by their side? All this will come back to haunt them. Law must reign supreme. The Chief Prosecutor's Office of Georgia puts blame for the forceful revocation of Iberia TV's broadcasting license on the ex-prosecutor general, Jura Badeishvili, and his deputy, Girgi Latsabidze. Iberia TV resumed broadcasting 12 years after being stripped of its license. The court's verdict will become known in the near future.